Hi, growth family. How are you today? I hope you're ready for some growth. Well, we got a question for you. Can you think of somebody in your life that really drains your energy? Maybe you feel worn out or depleted when you're around them and after you're around them. It's crucial to protect your energy. It's crucial. And I'm going to talk about that today. My name is Sage and I'm a growth coach. And our topic today is be less available to people who drain you. Now, how can you tell if somebody in your life is an energy vacuum? Well, lots of times everything is about them and it revolves around them. And it's all me, 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 me. And they just keep chattering away about what they need. And they never ask how you are. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Um, another way that you can tell if somebody is an energy vacuum is you see them coming. Or you see a text message pop up on your phone. And you get this like ugh, resistance feeling down in your gut. Yeah, energy vacuum. Or they're real bad at observing social cues. You're like, oh, well, I kind of got to get going. And they're like, oh, yeah, and so, and then. And they keep talking, right? They can't hear you that you're trying to escape because you've got other things to do, okay? Um, also, they take more than they give. Now, guys, all of us in life have times where we really need to be the takers because life is heavy and things have gotten overwhelming and that's okay. But then you kind of got to keep a little bit of a mental score and go, Ooh, yeah, boy, those people just really helped me through that. And now it's my turn, turn to pay back. That's what keeps relationships fair and even is that there's a flow, you know, and maybe that flow spreads over a period of time, but um, some people are just always the takers, right? You know what I'm talking about. So here's a quote. Don't waste another minute with a toxic, negative, energy draining person. Some are wired for negativity. They love being argumentative, combative, abusive, Run for your life as quickly as possible. That's Les Brown. Now, just like Les just said, some can be really assertive and aggressive. And some are just super needy. Okay? And they're all still takers. So, who in your life right now is draining you the most? Oh, I know a name just popped up in your head. You didn't even have to think about it. So have you set up clear boundaries for that person? Hmm. So how about I give you two ways to become less available? Number one, you have to set some boundaries and you have to stick to them. Maybe you have to start telling them you have 10 minutes to talk on the phone. And that's it. And then when you hit eight minutes, you're like, okay, well, I only have two minutes left. Give them a warning. Okay. Or maybe you say, uh, I can only talk to you for a half an hour on Sundays. That's what works for me. You got to set some boundaries. Or maybe every time they text you with this monstrous list of things that, that they feel needy about, you just choose not to get entangled in that. You find a nice, short, sweet message to answer and you put your phone down. Those are all ways to set boundaries. The second way to be less available is just don't engage. Don't engage. Messages, emails, texts, conversations. 
Now, I'm not saying that you have to be like a total jerk face and just not reply because that's probably going to make them even more needy. But just don't engage with their black hole sucking your energy away. Instead of your emotions piling up and you just want to lash out or say something or get engulfed in their emotional situation, just imagine a nice, safe boundary or bubble around yourself, a protective bubble, and just be like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I sure hope you have a better day. Okay, got to go. That's how you don't engage. Okay, some people are constantly looking how to fuel their tank from leeching your energy off of you. Put a safety lid on your tank of energy and do not let somebody take the lid off. It's your energy, you control it. That's how you become less available to the people who drain you. So who do you need to start practicing and this with and protecting your energy with right now. Go think about this for a little bit. You'll be happier. Grow with me. You'll be so much happier. Thanks for your time. Love you guys.